Hi, this is the third video of Chapter 5, General Equilibrium and Economic Efficiency. In this video, we are going to talk about Pareto Efficient Allocations. So following the last video, we, where we talk about the Edgeworth box, here in this third video, we talk about the Pareto Efficient Allocation. And what is the Pareto Efficient Allocation? Well, this slide shows several indifferent scarves for both James and Karen. This is the first one, the red or pink one for James, okay, because his origin is here, so the indifferent scarf is going to have this shape. And then for Karen, we find that the blue one is the indifferent scarf for her, because the origin is here. Okay, so then the point A is where both indifferent scarf cross. So which are Karen? and which are James' second indifferent scarf. Here we find the second one for James and the second one for Karen. And then the third one for James and the third one for Karen. So as we can see, James goes from the origin to, the, to this part of the Edward box. So the third one gives him more a satisfaction on the first one. Then any basket that is in this third indifferent scarf is going to give him more satisfaction than any any basket that is in the first one. So the basket D will provide more satisfaction to James than the basket A, which is in the first indifferent scarf. And then C and B will give him the same satisfaction because because they are both in the same utility in the same indifference car for James and then if we focus on current we will see that the one indifference car, car that is farther from its origin is the third one okay so this is the the one that it, he gives her more satisfaction and the one that gives her less satisfaction is the UK one so A, the point A, or the allocation A, is the one that is going to give both of them less satisfaction. If we compare with D to current, it will be the same to be in D or in A, because both of them are in the same uh, indifference car. But then she will prefer B or even C. C will be the point where she is better off in this Edward box. So if A gives the initial allocation of resources, we can think that all the shaded area inside this part of the Edward box is going to give mutually beneficial traits for both of them. So point B or C will provide them a better situation. Then, if we compare, for example, uh, C and D, which is the one that Karen prefer? Karen prefer point C, but James would prefer D. So, at the end, in which point will they situate? We will see it afterwards. So, this um, this Edward box is illustrating an important point. Even if a trade from an inefficient allocation makes both people better off, the new allocation is not necessarily an efficient point or an efficient allocation. For example, if we go from A to B, B is less inefficient than A, but it doesn't mean that B is going to be efficient. Why? Because in B, we don't find that the marginal rate of substitution for both um, consumers is the same. We don't find this, but we do find it in C and in D. In D, the indifferent scarves are tangent, and also in D. So in both in C and D, we will have efficient allocations. Then, if we want to compare. These two allocations between them, we cannot say that one is more efficient than the other. We can only say that both of them are Pareto efficient. Then um, 
An allocation is Pareto efficient if goods cannot be reallocated to make someone better off without making someone else worse off. This is what is reflected here. If we want to go from C to D, we will make James better off, but we will make Karen worse off. So then we have another new concept, which is the contract curve. The contract curve is a curve that is going to show all Pareto efficient allocations of goods between two consumers. And this will uh, be drawn something like this. Okay, so the purple line is the contract curve. And then this contract curve is going to show all the allocations that are efficient. So we will have E. F and G, and in all these points and in any other that uh, is allocated in this purple line, we will find that the marginal rate of substitution of James and Karen are exactly the same, so their indifference curves are exactly tangent between them. So every point on the curve is efficient because one person cannot be made better off without making the other person worse off. And that's all for the moment. See you in the next video.